Got some safety pins. Got some uh, hydrocortisone cream and uh, some antifungal foot cream. And I usually have uh, some Neosporin in there, a big tube of Neosporin in there as well, but I had a boo-boo and had to use it and I don't have it in here right now, but it will be put back. Here's some uh, writing materials, just a pen, Sharpie, low composition notebook. I also have a write and rain uh, notebook as well. Here's some, just some adhesive tape, waterproof adhesive tape. Here's a compass, has a light on it, and a uh, magnifying glass. And this magnifying glass folds in that little pocket real nice. And this is everything that I have in this pouch on the outside. So here are the items that I have in the outside pouches um, on my pack. This is an alcohol stove made from a uh, beer can, pretty much. and um, these are great for uh, boiling water. I can boil water in five and a half to six minutes. Uh, this will boil um, two cups of water very quickly and uh, it burns itself out after about eight minutes of use. It has a nice little stand that can go over it and you can rest anything you want on it. And it's a really good little handy item to have. And this is just this little carrying case. So this is a uh, heat. It's a gas line antifreeze and water remover. It's denatured alcohol. Uh, this is what I use as the main fuel source for my alcohol stove, uh, mainly because it will burn with no smoke. And uh, the flame pretty much burns clear. And it decreases the amount of time that it takes to uh, for the stove to prime and to boil water. My 91% alcohol can be used for medical needs and it can also be used as a secondary um, alternative fuel source for my stove uh, in case I run out of my heat. Ziploc bag double wrapped with a handful of lighters. This is a magnesium strip fire starting tool. So, those are the items I have on the outside of my pack, these pouches. Okay, so here's an idea of what's on the inside of my pack. I want to show you how wide um, everything opens up. That goes in the bag pretty deep. So you, there's a lot of things that are crammed in there. Um, and then it has these pouches on the inside that open up nice and wide. Um, so you can put a lot of things in there as well. So here's what I have um, basically on the inside of this pouch uh, right here when you first open up the bag. So here is um, hand crank, uh, radio, flashlight if you need to. Um, so it has a volume AM, FM, and uh, has a solar charger on here as well. Um, this will also charge your cell phone. I'm not going to rely on cell phones pretty much. I will rely on radio though. Uh, so this is a important little tool to have. And remember too that uh, you know everything I'm showing you here is primarily just to give you ideas. You don't necessarily have to get what I have. It's primarily just to give you an idea of what um, you know items that you should think about having that you wouldn't necessarily think uh, that you would need. Um, I you know I put things in here like seeds, you know, organic seeds. I have a whole bunch of different vegetable seeds. Here are some coffee filters. Uh, so this can be used for not just coffee, but straining water. Um, it can also extend the life of your current My Lifesaver uh, water filter that I have there. So I can filter water through these first and then put them in My Lifesaver filter and it will extend the life of my filter. Uh, some green tea, um, instant coffee. Here's just a uh, fork, spoon, and knife. Some more safety pins. Never know when you're going to need these. Here's just a web belt that I got. 
little pocket size SAS survival guide. So between this thing and my Special Forces Medical Handbook, basically I think that these are two very important books to have. And a whole number of, uh, I think I have about six or eight black contractor bags, trash bags here. So these can be used for hide. Um, they're best for waterproofing. You can use them as tents. Uh, you know, you can use them as shelter. Uh, cover up all your equipment. Cover up your bags when it's raining and the water will just glide right off. So very important to have these. All right, guys. So this should sum up, uh, you know, the rest of the stuff that I have crammed into this bag. Um, you see inside here, there's uh, these straps. Everything can be cinched down really tight, and that's how I'm able to fit all this in this bag. Um, again, the bag weighs about 55 to 60 pounds when uh, fully loaded. Got my K-Bar, trusty K-Bar. Uh, here's my mess kit. Uh, this folds out to a frying pan. Everything fits nice on that stove that I showed you, that alcohol stove. You have a plate in here if you need to. I have all this plastic in here just to keep down on the noise, uh, to, you know, noise reduction so things don't rattle around. Um, but inside of here you also have a pot with a lid. It has a nice little lid that goes down on it. So uh, I cook all my stuff and like I said I also have a sponge and detergent, um, dish soap uh, to wash up after myself. Everything fits nice and snug into this bag. This is the spare cartridge filter that I have for my lifesaver bottle. A couple extra sponges for it. And again, as I mentioned, you can also use those coffee filters to extend the life of these, this cartridge. A couple bags of uh, emergency purified drinking water, only to be used in case of an emergency. couple of instant cold compresses. A couple of these in there. Here's uh, just a bag of food. Um, I have a lot of different uh, things crammed into this bag. Um, it's like cliff bars. Uh, this has caffeine in it, so things to consider. You know, you can get um, high calorie, high fat foods that have uh, you know caffeine in them to give you a quick little boost of energy. So just keep in mind, high calorie, quick to eat. Uh, got some granola bars. Uh, there's dehydrated eggs, powdered eggs. This is uh, basically a dozen eggs in this bag. Uh, oatmeal. Um, these little peanut butter packets. These are these have something like a bunch of calories, about almost 200 calories, um, and a lot of fat in just these little bags. These little peanut butter bags. So again, more uh, more granola bars. Got some long-term emergency food. This is just a uh, chili. There's about five servings in here. It's about 180 calories, 170, 180 calories per serving. Toilet paper. Two rolls. Sit on the bag. Zip it up. Get all the air out of it. Compacts down, nice and tight. And uh, I also threw in a uh, thing of some baby wipes, so you can never have too many of these. Again, more fire. These are my change of clothes. These are space saver bags. Um, they have a release valve, air relief valve on them, so you just put what you need inside of them, roll them up, and it squeezes all the air out. Um, so I have everything from a change of underwears, long sleeve shirts, I have a pair of cargo shorts, and I also have a pair of pants, believe it or not, cargo pants um, in here with a change of underwear, socks, so everything is waterproofed. And this is everything I have inside of this main pouch. You can see how wide everything opens up, and everything I just showed you fits inside of this bag. Alright guys, 
So as you can see, this is uh, pretty much what the you know bag looks like on me. Um, you know, I can be pretty mobile in it. It's uh, like I said, it's about 55 to 60 pounds, uh, which is definitely you know I'm capable of handling. Um, I have things uh, with my pepper spray. Got my light, you know, if I need it. Uh, whistle, handcuff keys, compass. All my tools down here. Got my K bar, my side, very easy to reach. Uh, everything is is completely connected to this pack. Um, multi tool, canteen. Got my binoculars, and uh, you can see on the back here, you know, got an extra jacket, uh, fleece pullover, which I didn't uh, show you guys before, um, but that's easily straps there. And uh, yeah, you know, you can get an idea. Um, you can also add things like uh, a sleeping pad if you need to. Um, you know, a pad to put out on the ground. They have inflatable ones, and then they just have regular ones, standard ones that they issue uh, in the military, which always seemed uh, they were foam, and they just seemed to work just fine for me. Um, so I don't have one of those on here. Um, you know, I could easily get one. A uh, sleeping bag if you want. You can find lightweight sleeping bags that you could put in here. Um, you know, you'll definitely want some sunglasses. Um, you know, a hat or a boonie cover, something to keep the sun out of your eyes as well, protection for your head. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I appreciate you taking a look at my video. Um, I hope I gave you some ideas for uh, what you should have as far as preparing um, your family and yourself in case of an emergency. Uh, take from this what you can and, uh, you know, discard what you don't need. Um, again, this was mainly just to give you ideas. It's what I did when uh, when I was searching for what I should have in a uh, survival bag, in a bug out bag. So I went to many other um, different videos and websites and I just took the best ideas that resonated with me and that's what I have. So again, I appreciate you checking out my video. Um, good luck to all of you and uh, if you have any questions or advice or you know constructive criticism, please leave it in the comment section. I will also uh, try and remember to put as much in the description box as I can. Um, and I'll try and leave links for the uh, essential items, the most important items that um, I purchased. And uh, I hope it all works out well for you. So thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.